Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dark and Darker video. Today we are talking about if Dark and Darker is a battle royale game or an extraction looter. And you might have already seen some discussions on this on Dark and Darker should pick a lane and choose to be one or the other. And there's been a lot of discussions about that going around. But it seems like the developers want it to be both a battle royale and an extraction looter. And the player base is split into these two groups that like one of those categories. So I think a lot of your more casual players would definitely fit into the extraction looter category. That's what they're here for. They like the dungeon delving. They like all of that. But they're really here for the loot aspect. And then your more competitive players, they seem to be here more for the PvP, that sort of thing. And so they are here more for the battle royale aspect. And then you have a third group of players as well who are basically here to play a horror game because the geared players are so much stronger than the ungeared players that it turns into a game that's like Dead by Daylight. And so this has spawned discussions about how, okay, lower gear players don't really have a chance against these higher gear players and they get forced into fights most of the time because the circles shrink so much before portals spawn, if you're playing crypts at least. If you're playing goblin caves, not so much of a problem. But when you're playing crypts, you get shrunk in so much that you're basically forced to fight or you find a nook and cranny in the wall to hide in, and that's really your only shot. And when you're having these discussions about gear disparity and maybe gear too good and maybe you like where gear's at, when you're having those discussions, basically you'll see people say, ah, yeah, if you don't have good enough gear to fight someone, just run away. How are you supposed to run away from someone who has faster move speed than you, can break down doors, and all of that stuff? That doesn't make much sense at all, especially if they are camping the entire zone, which towards the end of the circle they can definitely do. And I don't know if you guys have seen this, but sometimes all of the blue portals and all of the red portals will spawn all right next to each other. There'll be like nine inferno portals next to each other, and then there will be a good five blue portals right down the hall. And that becomes extremely easy to camp for these players who just want to rack up kills and who have really good gear on already, who just want to farm everyone else in the lobby. So this has brought along the discussion point of, hey, maybe the circle should be removed from the game because the circle is forcing these players with less gear to fight these people and it makes it so they don't really have a chance in the first place. Maybe gear disparity isn't a problem in the first place. Maybe it's just the circle forcing people with less gear to fight people with more gear. And I understand where people are coming from with that point. I don't think that is necessarily the solution. I played a lot of Escape from Tarkov and mainly how it goes in that game is if you want to make good money in that game, you avoid PvP entirely. And Escape from Tarkov doesn't have a circle or anything like that and it just has a whole bunch of static extracts. There isn't a limit to how many people can extract except on these car extracts that only one group can go through. But everyone can leave the map just fine. And some of these players want it to go in this direction. And I think they're already testing that with the Goblin Caves. And what ends up happening is players become much more friendly in a game like this because unlike Escape from Tarkov, you can't just kill people in one shot from all the way across the map unless you have like a god tier gear set and a crossbow. Then you can do that. But in Escape from Tarkov, you have the lowest tier gear ever and you just dink someone in the head with the dinkiest pistol ever and they'll die instantly. But in this game, you can't do that and it's much easier to be friendly with someone because if someone starts running at you with melee and screaming, I'm friendly, I'm friendly, you know they're not friendly, they're running towards you. If they're actually friendly, they should be running the opposite direction. That doesn't make any sense at all. But a suggestion I saw that I thought was cool to make this problem a little bit alleviated was how about if the circle got removed and then changed out to a different circle where when the circle moves in, it just turns off all of the lights and it starts upgrading the mobs that are outside in the darkness. So if you're playing on normal crypts and you want to go ahead and stay outside in the darkness and you want to rat out there, you're allowed to do that, but all those mobs there are going to turn into elites and there won't be any lights on. So you'll have to throw a torch on the ground to be able to fight anything there or have a lantern in your other hand. 
So you're fighting elite mobs and they're already really strong and you don't have light. So it would be pretty difficult. And if you're in high roller and want to do the same thing, it would be nightmare mobs. And nightmare mobs are, as they say, you know, a nightmare. And they can be extremely difficult to fight with. And I've also seen some other ideas that, hey, maybe they could even add a roaming boss in the dark area that players could go and hunt down in the dark area and some things like that. And I think all of that is a great idea. It would obviously take some developer time. It's not just changing a one to a two in the code or anything, but it seems like something that they could implement and it might thematically fit the game better and allow for better ratting. And then you still wouldn't lose the PVP aspect of the game because within the circle that is in the light, you would still have all of the portals spawning but you would give other players more of a chance to run away from these geared teams. And if the geared teams want to chase them out into the zone, they absolutely can. It's just these players won't die automatically out there. And then I've also seen some requests for changes on the instantaneous death at the end of the round. I think we'd be a lot better off if the zone completely closed and then you had something like a good 30 seconds after that. So you're just sitting in the zone, even if they kept the zone the exact same way it is now with it damaging you. If you got 30 seconds at the end of the round to go find a portal after the zone entirely closed in, that would make things feel a lot better and a lot less rushed. I also think the requests for a lot of these changes come about because that new circle change where the circle can spawn on like the edge corner of any part of the map. If you spawn on the opposite corner of that, the time that is available in the match is not enough anymore. And this doesn't seem to be so much of a problem on something like Goblin Caves. Or maybe it is if you're playing High Roller, but if you're playing something like Crips or High Roller Crips, you're just going to get absolutely dumpstered if you spawn on the other corner of the map. Even if you have good gear on, it's going to take you forever to clear over to the circle, and you're going to be spending the entire game clearing over to the circle instead of looting, which is not fun to play with. And they've listened to us before on this and added more high roller time, but that was before they changed where the circle spawned. So I think at the very least, Iron Maze should add some more time to the circle. That way you have a little bit more options for ratting, and that way you're also not just chasing the circle the whole time if you get a bad spawn. There is obviously some RNG to it, and I like the RNG aspect to it, but chasing the circle the whole time just because you've got a bad spawn is not fun and it puts you at such a disadvantage that it is ridiculous. And if you think High Roller Crips is bad, just wait until you see High Roller Inferno. If you get a bad spawn in High Roller Inferno, it's basically going to force you to run through the boss room immediately and you won't even get to loot the first room you spawn in, even though there's super good loot in there. I would also like to see if they don't end up changing the circle at all, if they don't end up doing anything like that, if they don't end up removing the circle, hey, maybe just add, you know, one or two escape portals earlier in the portal spawns. They spawn pretty late right now in crypts, which I think is definitely leading to this because rats really don't have a chance, especially on a high roller. If you have a team that's actually going out of their way to hunt down the rats, then you're going to have a problem. The only reason why we're seeing so many rats in High Roller right now is because there are no hunters in High Roller. Everyone wants to play normal lobbies for some reason right now, which is really weird. And just so you guys know, High Roller loot is really good now. And now that purples are allowed to be worth something again now, now that they can go into regular lobbies, it's definitely worth it to farm. And I've seen a lot of players still say, ah, the risk versus reward isn't worth it. That's not true. The reward every time now is like a thousand gold each party member that gets out. It is a lot of money. You can make so much on high rollers, so much more than regular crypts or even ruins. And it's definitely worth running now. But rat players do not really have a chance when those hunter teams are available there. When those hunter teams are in the lobby, they could hunt down a good 10 rat rogues in one game easily. And that's because all of the red portals spawn together. All of the blue portals will generally end up spawning together, except for maybe one. And there's just not enough options for them to get away from those people. And this also leads to people playing the even rattier classes so that they have a chance to rat instead of, I barely ever see like a barbarian ratting or anything like that. I barely ever see 
weaker three-man teams in the lobby because they can know they can hide and that sort of thing. When you're trying to get away with three people, it's very different than one person. And I think that's a symptom of an issue with the game, a couple issues with the game. One of those being that circle here. Another one I would like to point to is generally there seems to be too much gear disparity. And also those portal spawns, just they spawn way too close together. And I think they can fix all of this really easily. And I don't think any of this is difficult for them to fix. But let me know what you guys think, or if you guys have any suggestions that you think Iron Mace should look into. Honestly, I think there's a lot of features in this game that just haven't been fleshed out yet that would be more thematically suiting to the game and that would really make the game better over time but we just haven't seen them yet because it's early access but anyways guys make certain to subscribe for more see you guys